On today's episode of the Aussie Flipper, we're vlogging what is going to turn out to be our best eBay sales day of the year. Guys, I am absolutely shocked on the drive home. We got a sale that has made this sales day just something crazy. We're also diving back into the thrift to hunt for items to sell on eBay. We'll take those. Hawthorne Hawks, they're playing amazing footy in the AFL right now. And Courtney and I are out for lunch to celebrate a big milestone for the business. Courtney's just looking at the menu for lunch. So cute. Can't give it away though. Can't tell them where we're going just yet. Lots to look forward to in this one. Let's get it. A new day, Courtney. New day. Wednesday, midweeker. Uh, we've got some sales to take you through today. We are going to be predominantly thrifting though today, so we'll get these sales out of the way. Uh, and then Courtney and I are going to go out for lunch. Mm, and what for? well, 30,000 subscribers. These balloons have faded a little bit. It's been about a week and a half, has it? Yeah. yeah. A week and a half, about a week and a half yeah. uh, since we hit 30K and we haven't celebrated yet. So I really want to make sure that we're celebrating all the little wins along the way. And 30,000 subscribers is definitely a milestone worth celebrating. So I think it's going to be worth vlogging as well, uh, the lunch spot that Courtney and I are going to. We probably don't document how good the Gold Coast is enough, I think, on, on this I channel. Know, it's stunning. We live in heaven, yeah. and we don't really put the camera around and show you guys how good of a place it is. So this, this spot that we've got for lunch, it'll be at the end of the video, so hopefully you can stick around. Um, have lunch with us today. It's going to be a good one. A um, few sales to take you through. We haven't updated the whiteboard. Um, we've got a few sales over here that we won't be talking about today. Um, so there's a couple of little bits and pieces here, all very common stuff that we always sell. Uh, the books from the other day, that was in the vlog just the other day, two days ago. Um, we've got the Funko Pop, that, that uh, Sonic Control was sold straight away, yeah. which is really cool. That was a viewer, a viewer purchase that we put out in the last video. Uh, yeah, some Blu-rays and some bits and pieces, but we've got, I think it's five or six items in today's video to take you through for a what sold and then we'll get out and do some thrifting. Now, the first one was out of a private buy. I've gone ahead and listed this one up, Chicken Blaster. Um, this is just the guns for the game, Chicken Blaster on the Nintendo Wii. Completely genuine product, always handy when you've got the box for it. The only thing that won't be handy about this is obviously having to ship it in a box, Courtney, because that's pretty much what we're gonna have to do with this. Um, but the guns are in there. Everything is pretty much in light new condition. We got $30 for it. So didn't hang around for too long. We only got this a few weeks ago. So any of these sort of video game type accessories that you might find. Um, if we had the Chicken Blaster game, which you might have in your inventory pile, it might be good to go ahead and add it to these sorts of items like accessories. We've got these as well. Um, they do really well. We've got the guns, uh, the old school PlayStation 1 Namco guns. I think they sell for like a hundred odd dollars. Um, so we've got a few of those as well. So anything in the video game world does very well on eBay. Right, next one is this DVDs, the Grand Design series. There's actually, I think it's about a 1 to 15 for a complete series of this. Um, we would have brought this, listed it, and hoped to find more when we're out in the thrift. Because sometimes, like, these, you do come across these, but not as a 1 to 15, like, just separate um, series. But we got... A $15 sale price for this with 20 international to the US but something really interesting to keep an eye out for this one in the thrift is if you can find it 1 to 15 or even like 1 to 11 you can get multiple hundreds we'll put a comp up on screen yeah <laughs> um, and show you how much you can actually get there was a crazy comp that we found for brand new and sealed 1 to 15 for over a thousand dollars so pretty crazy wild yeah so 1 to 15 if you can find that sealed, yeah. list it up for a grand and you'll make yourself some money. Now, this one that I've got here was a bit of retail arbitrage, which I don't really do a lot of. I actually did it with, as a part of a YouTube short series. I was doing TikTok videos and stuff like that. I did this, can you make money from X retail location? Um, did about 15 or 20 of those videos and I went into an Officeworks and I tried to scour Officeworks for items that I could make profit on. Uh, and this one, albeit it took a very, very long time to sell, I think it was only on sale for like five or six dollars. It was a ridiculously super cheap discounted item. Um, and I went ahead and listed it up for $35 based on the comps on eBay. We never manipulated the price or anything like that. It sat up for a very, very long time, a good six to eight months, I'd say. Um, but we finally got the full asking price of $35 just yesterday. Um, so phone cases, would I recommend you guys buying them? Would I recommend you trying retail arbitrage and getting things like this? Probably not. Just stick to the thrift stores where you can buy stuff super cheap. Um, that's going to be a better way to get yourself some profit. 
This one's a bit different. These are some Sony motion controllers for the PlayStation, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Matt actually was just telling me he found these at the flea a couple of weeks ago. They were sell he was selling them for about fifty with the console as well. Matt contemplated it. He ended up leaving them, and then he did his research that following week and was like, "Oh, actually, they're quite worth it." Went back, and the seller still had them the next weekend. Was it? And Matt brought the console, which we've already sold, which is fifty. He purchased all of it for fifty. And then we listed these for ninety, and we got the full asking price. Full asking, ninety bucks. Yeah, I don't so even like. What is this? <laughs> this is my friend. Nah, little motion controllers. I've never actually used them, but the good things about these is you can use them for the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4. Oh, okay. Multiple consoles can, can use these, apparently. Mm. And the console was so shocked by it because we don't sell controllers for $100 no. all too often. Um, so that's why I kind of let them go in the, uh, the first run at the fleet. Um, but then when I went back the next week after doing some research, I was like, geez, I should have bought those. Mm. And that's where all the true profit has come from. Sold the console for money back. Yeah. And then these are all profit, basically. Uh, now guys, I always love a fast sale, and that's exactly what these guys were. These were the Endorphin Speed 2s. Socony is the brand. I always called it Socony. I call it Socony. Yeah, I, I think it's an Aussie term. Oh. Uh, but Socony is what the guys over in the States will, will say it as. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, I found these for $15. I really love the fact that, that I spoke about in the video, it was the tread. Uh, the tread in the sole was still there. There was plenty of wear left in these. No fabric tears either when I was doing my assessment of the item in the store. Uh, and then I did some research on eBay and I saw that they were going for at worst $50. And then Courtney went ahead and I think listed them up for about 80 didn't you? Yeah. I think it went 80. Yeah, yeah. Which is, the, it was basically, Courtney went ahead and listed these up. And this is a really interesting point actually to talk about. Mm. Courtney listed these up for the top end price point, which is completely fine. Out of the comps that there were for this one, 80 was like top dollar. Mm. I went ahead after Courtney left that day, as I always do, and just checked everything. And I just manipulated one down to $60. Um, so 60 was more mid range. And then straight away within a day, obviously the last you know, 24 hours, this is sold. Um, somebody offered $50. So it went from Corny listing at the top end to me listing it more mid-range to getting a, a best offer at the bottom end. The worst comp on eBay for this shoe was 50. Mm. And I just said yes. So we've put another comp onto eBay for this uh, brand, this make at the lowest end of the price points. And I think when you're first starting out as a beginner, you should really be in that bottom 25%, that bottom quarter of sales uh, when you're doing your research on price points. Super crucial to analyze the numbers around it. I don't think this shoe sells in 24 hours if we left it at $80. And we, we explained that we weren't selling enough shoes in, in Monday's video. Mm. Uh, we only sold one pair of Nike, um, what were they? The Pegasus. Pegasus, yeah. Um, but yet we've got so many shoes. So that's why I actually dropped the price um, that Courtney listed for 80. I went, no, we need to sell shoes. Let's just lower that, that category down a bit. I was thinking of lunch. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Well, that's fair. Um, that is fair. Uh, so yeah, 50 bucks on these. They will hopefully go into a small satchel, do you think? Yeah, well they're quite big actually. They're 11 and a half. It's going to be... quite wide. If they are. Be fine. It's going to be touch and go. We'll see. They do bend a little bit, so we might be able to squeeze it into a small. It'd be nice if we do. Mm. But um, I thought I'd raise that and discuss that with you guys, because price points are literally one of the most important parts about selling on eBay. Makes sense, but the other two are titles and photos. I think we nailed title and photos. We just need to work out the price there to get that quick sale. <laughs> now we've got these as well, guys. Probably underpriced these ever so slightly. Um, some Kiss action figures from McFarlane Toys, 1998. Um, vintage and obviously the fact that they are brand new in the sense of having all of their accessories along with it goes for some pretty good money. Now, comps on eBay were tough to see. There wasn't like an abundance of comps, but I just went off the fact that it was vintage, complete, brand new and sealed, and I went $50 a piece on these. I also went individual listings as well because it wasn't a complete set of action figures. Um, there are multiples of the Kiss characters that you could add into this collection. Um, so being a partial set, I just went individual and I went $49.95 a piece. Uh, and then I had a buyer come along and ask for both of them and they wanted a reduced price for postage. And um, we ended up taking a $30 each sale price. So they sold for $60. It'll go together in a box just like that with some bubble wrap around it. Um, postage should be no more than maybe $12 odd I would say. Um, which means we're going to make ourselves about a $48 sale price. So definitely undersold, but it did sell quick because we got these at a private buy maybe two weeks ago. So only two weeks on eBay and they're out the door. 
Um, but I think any sort of former action figure that you can find that is vintage in its box with, the, with its accessories um, is definitely worth grabbing. Uh, so guys, there's about 11 or 12 for Courtney to go ahead and ship off this morning. It shouldn't take more than an hour or so, and then we're gonna go out and do some thrifting. But more importantly, we really wanna to get to our lunch spot. So if we can nail this, find a heap of stuff in the thrift, get the shipping done, I think we'll be good to go. Sorrells. Yeah. How much? 50. See, they're pretty close. Mm. Even these are. Yeah. If you go back to those price points, mm. how many sales were there? 42. And how many active? Does that take off this? Yeah. So 61 listed. 45, that's good. Yeah, it's not quite 100%, but the sell through on it is decent. Mm. The issue is it's $50, but they are a size 10. I think that's obviously a men's size 10 too, right? Well, it's in, it's in good condition. Yeah. And it's sort of a dry a bone situation. Leather, like. It's a really good, you know, good quality boot. Yeah. Mm. Here's a good show, The Good Wife. Do you want to guess how much? I'm gonna say 20. How much? 20. $85. 84 bucks for season one to six. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, one to seven. One to six, this is. So it's not even, so the best price on eBay is a one to seven. So where did they get 84 from? <laughs> that is like, I get it when it, I get it when it's eBay pricing and you just copy eBay, but that's not even eBay. It's never going to move. That is weird. How much is that? I don't know, but there's a couple of them here. Not a heap. There's two per disc. Two dollars per disc. Ten dollars. Oh, so ten bucks for Game of Thrones season. Ten dollars. Yucky. <laughs> so it was definitely a heavy spend at $50, but I am pretty happy with these Sorel boots. I put it into the e-profit calculator and it looks like we should be able to make ourselves about $42. I think it'll cost about $15 to ship. We we'll should be able to sell them for $125 with a $50 purchase price, $42 in pocket. I think it's a pretty good grab. The sell-through rate was pretty decent as well. Just a really quick little break here, guys, to let you know that we've just sold our first of the vintage cameras that we picked up in a thrift store just last week. We paid $50 for a big box of cameras and the first one the Canon F1 has gone on to sell I've just taken a best offer for $279 and the buyer has accepted payment uh, so really really cool result I'm gonna get back home and I'm gonna ship that one off with today's orders uh, but yeah that came out of the thrift store so who knows the next store might have a similar result so we're gonna grab these Asics lethal tiger ear. She's there was still a lady, a lady looking at Brad Stubbs. Still out there. On eBay too. She was on eBay, yeah. Let's go and have a look at those toys. Mm. They would have been in here. They would have been in here. Mm. No. Don't know any of these, hey? No. Alright, let's just get those footy boots, eh? Yep. So, they were 110 cent brass. Were they? Mm -hmm. I was looking, I thought, oh no, they look at Barbie, and then I saw the face, and I was like, oh yeah. She might be watching. Be. If you were the lady that found those brat stoles. Congrats. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> she'll message and she'll say, yeah, I did. Yeah. I saw you guys, I just didn't want to say hi. <laughs> she was looking for quite a while on the comps though, so maybe they weren't too crazy. Or well, maybe she's new. Yeah. It's the other thing. People can see comps and stuff and they get nervous around having to spend 20 bucks or so on it. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get, we'll get 50 bucks for that. And then I reckon, yeah, I reckon we will get 130 for these. Yeah. So that's 180 in value and we paid $60. That's good. 
Courtney's just looking at the menu for lunch. So cute. Can't give it away though. Can't tell them where we're going just yet. No. Radio. Ah, Merrill's. Ten dollars. Merrill's for ten? Merrill. Merrill goes well. Small. They are a bit small. They're an eight. So just the one in Australia. And then around 50 odd. There's no insoles either. That might be the... Small. Might be the nail in the coffin. We'll take those. Hawthorne Hawks, they're playing amazing footy in the AFL right now. Yeah. So that will be a yes. Nice little 30 to 40 dollar bread and butter. Mm. And we're paying five. What do we got? These brands are good. G Star. G Star. Jeez, they're funky, aren't they? Like, obviously, can't find an exact match, but their jeans are. Yeah, G Star does great. What do you think about this design? It's like a quarter. It's like a core G, yeah. yeah. What size are they women? Oh, they're 20. Yeah. Men. I reckon we'll leave them for 20. That's a big win. Rangers Apprentice. Mm. We found these on, um, what day was it? Monday. To be. Yeah. Uh, when we were out thrifting on Monday, we saw these and they were $3 each and there was only three of them. Oh. I wonder what books they were. Mm. What book numbers. Yeah. But this is a big series, guys. Rangers Apprentice. John, 12 John goes Flanagan. for 100. 12 of them, yeah. So we've, we can maybe do this for 50. 12 into 50. But that's about it. So just the four items in today's little haul. It was about $250 worth of value. We spent $75 and we should be able to make ourselves 125 bucks once we take out the fees, the postage and the cost of goods. Some really, really good news to come back to guys. Our second amazing sale of the day has just come through. We've got all of these Harry Potter books. Now, there's two first editions in this allocation. Um, this is the complete series of Harry Potter. So when you're looking for Harry Potter books out in the thrift, you wanna be making sure that you're finding the hardcover copies. They're always gonna do better. And we actually, in this little hall here, had two hardcover book sets, um, along with the rest being original paperbacks. So there's so many different variants when it comes to Harry Potters, uh, but this was quite a good stack that we found in the thrift store not too long ago. Um, it sold for $150. So the camera for 280, I'm about to put that into a box. Here it is right here. And then I've obviously got the Harry Potters to put away into a box as well uh, for 150 bucks. So uh, it's turning into a pretty good sales day. Okay, time for some lunch. And I am starving. Courtney's gonna go home after this as well. We're gonna give her a bit of an early mark. Um, she can go home after this. I just want to say thanks to her as well for helping us get to this 30,000 subscriber milestone. So um, things are good. Looking forward to getting a feed. I've just grabbed a car park in Burley, which is one of the hardest things you could possibly do. How good's that? All right, let's get some lunch. So damn full. We both got the steak. I wanted to actually do a bit of recording in there, um, but we were literally sitting above a speaker uh, right in that restaurant. So um, the audio was absolutely terrible, but we had a really nice couple of hours uh, down there at uh, Burley Pavilion. And a nice way to celebrate 30,000 subs. Hey, run us up to 40,000. We'll go out for another lunch. It'd be awesome to see. Um, guys, I am absolutely shocked on the drive home. We got a sale. We got a sale that has made this sales day just something crazy. Um, in literally last Monday's vlog, two days ago, 
uh, we went out and found some board games, some brand new and sealed board games. It was actually my birthday on Monday as well. It was a, an amazing birthday find. And uh, the Cyberpunk board game has gone on to sell. Look at this. This massive brand new and sealed Cyberpunk exclusive edition board game plus some expansion packs. We've got this motor pool expansion pack and then we've also got families and what is that? Outcasts expansion packs. I don't think it's complete of expansion packs. I think there's plenty more uh, that you can add to this board game. However, a complete sealed board game plus the two expansions. Comps on eBay were going anywhere between five to seven hundred dollars. Really, really big money and we picked them up. We picked up the expansion packs for thirty dollars each uh, in the thrift and we also found the actual complete board game for fifty. So we spent hundred and ten dollars and this has gone on to sell in the space of 48 hours. It came through as I was driving home from lunch for $499.95. Incredible. I'm going to put it into a box, ship it off for about $20 to $25, take out fees, post cost of goods. Let's put the e-profit calculator up here. I don't know what it works out to, but I know it will be a fair few hundred dollars. And to be honest with you guys, while it is arguably almost our best sales day of the year, I think we're sitting at about $1,100, something like that. Um, but this is, uh, this is probably a top five all-time sale on eBay. We don't really often sell too many $500 items. Um, certainly not items that we find in thrift stores. So it's a pretty special day. It's a pretty special moment and uh, amazing to be able to capture it on video with you guys. I will say about this, uh, I will also, you know, funnily enough, the cameras that have sold today, the Harry Potter books that have sold, um, this cyberpunk board game, brand new and sealed, it really does actually tell a tale that can help you out as well. Um, look, I, th I just think it all comes down to the product that you're sourcing. Um, these are all fantastic products that we need to ship off. Um, and the reason why they've sold so quickly is just because there is demand for them on eBay, there is a strong sell-through rate, and there is rarity in the sense of this board game. It's just a rare find. You don't often see this sort of thing. There's not a lot of comps on eBay. Uh, and that, along with a lot of comps for common items that are popular, are just two very good indicators that you're going to turn your money around. Now, $150, $280, $500 worth of an average sale price. My focus this year has been trying to grow the average sale price. Um, well over $40 is the goal, and we're almost there. We're very, very close to hitting it. Um, and that's in large part to try and get a quicker sell-through rate because higher valued items generally sell a little bit faster um, and we want to be making more bang for our buck every time we make a sale. So please, when you're out thrifting, make sure you do what we've done in that little mini thrift haul, that thrift run that we did today. Check the sell-through rates of items, check to see the average sale price. Like we spoke about with the shoes as well, the Sacconis in the what sold today turned around because we were really strategic about our price points. I'm blown away that we've been able to sell this in 48 hours for $500. But remember, that is the lower end. As I touched on, it's ranging between $500 to $700. Um, so I was really happy to take a $500 sale price. No offers or anything like that. They just grabbed it straight away. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can help yourself so much on eBay if you just do the little things right. And hopefully, we're putting those little bits and pieces into these videos to help you along the way with your own journey. But um, yeah, this one will go down in the history books for sure, 2024. It's been a big year, but this day on eBay, while we've been battling for sales all month, it might just bring us back on track. So appreciate you being here, guys. I'm going to leave you with another video right here. I'll leave you with the video where we found this board game if you missed that one. Um, so go over there and we'll catch you over there for that one. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you soon.